A newly merged company, which owns the social media app Truth Social, made its debut on the NASDAQ today under the ticker symbol DJT. To break this down for us, we have Yahoo Finance reporters Alexandra Canal and Rick Newman. Ali, let's start with you. You're here on set with us, and yeah. you've got some of the details on this DSPAC, this merge. Yeah, and we're seeing this newly merged company trading to the upside this morning. Shares up about 30 percent right now in pre-market trading, just under $65 a share. We'll continue to track that to see where it opens. But this debut, part of a special purpose acquisition, otherwise known as a SPAC deal. We haven't heard about SPACs in quite some time, but here we have Trump Media and Technology uh, Technology Group, which is a parent company of Truth Social, Social, merging with special purpose vehicle Digital World Acquisition Corp, otherwise known as DWAC. Now, this was a deal that was approved by share shareholders last week prior to the merger, DWAC had been trading on the public market since 2021. Of course, True Social, this was a social media app that was founded by Donald Trump after he was kicked off major platforms like Facebook and Twitter, which is now known as X following the January 6th riots in 2021. Uh, Trump is going to maintain roughly a 60 percent stake in this company, which means he could stand to receive a significant payout down the line with his shares value at at least $3 billion, if not more, depending on trading levels. But uh, he won't be able to cash in quite yet. According to the stipulations of this merger, there's a six-month lockup period unless there's a special exception that's approved by the board. So he's not going to be able to use the funds to, to help with his uh, lawsuits that he has ongoing, along with a, a campaign fundraising shortfall that he has uh, as he gears up to face President Joe Biden in a 2024 rematch. So this will be interesting interesting to see how this all plays out. I mean, certainly, uh, I think a net positive for, for Donald Trump moving forward that he potentially has access to this. Again, you're seeing shares trade at just under 65 bucks. Rick, what do you think? Is this a net positive for Trump? Because like Ali was just laying out there, yes, he owns about a 60% uh, stake here in Trump media, media, nearly a 60% stake. Yet the big question is when he is going to, if he's going to be able to sell shares in the timeline that he wants to sell his stake. This is a windfall for Trump, no matter how you look at it. Uh, uh, you know, at the opening price yesterday, his stake was valued at about $3.3 billion, and the shares are up. Uh, it's hard to ca calculate between the one ticker now flipping over to the other, but they seem to be up something like 25% since then. So his his stake might now be worth more than $4 billion, which uh, could more than double his, his total net worth. I mean, whatever restrictions might be on his ability to sell for the next six months, I mean, that that is a huge win for Trump. Um, now, what happens next is quite interesting. I, You know, from what I've been able to tell by looking at analysts and people who, who are understanding the company, this all, this can't really be anything other than a meme stock at this point. The, the company loses money. It doesn't have very much revenue. So where is the value in this company? I mean, and you almost have to say this is a binary uh, investing decision. If Trump does get elected president, then Truth Social could end up be uh, the social media network where everybody has to be. It's going to be the place where the conversations are happening about the next Trump administration. If he loses, uh, Truth Social is just a rump social network that's way smaller than other competitors like X and Facebook and Instagram. And it's hard to see what the value is. So um, this is gonna be a fascinating stock to watch for the next six months, seven months as we get into the election, because it all it seems to be almost directly a play on whether you think Trump's gonna win the election or not. Yeah, Rick, uh, and to your point on the revenue and uh, typically how social media companies make money is on their advertising revenues that they're able to bring in. That's how they create this kind of, well, largely free, but in some cases increasingly freemium type of model. And this is a company that, according to some regulatory filings, only had about $3.3 million during the first nine months of 2023. And so how they get to a $9 billion valuation off of that is... <laughs> Wildly speculative at this point, it seems, yep. at best. Absolutely. All right. Allie and Rick, thanks so much for taking the time here today. Yep. We'll be tracking shares of DJT.